Hello fellow bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I introduce you to this great almighty book, Skullduggery Pleasant, Resurrection. You can't keep a dead man down. A lot have changed. After Devastation Day, after, devast after Devastation Day, when Darkwas attacked Roarhaven, and finally was defeated by a simple trick. It has been five years, and a lot have changed. There is a school for sorcerers now, and sorcerers can live openly in Warhaven, and no one can even see from the outside. But one thing's the same, Skullduggery Pleasant is still out there to stop the wrongdoing. When a terrible evil is going to be resurrected. Huh? Yeah. I think you got it from the title. Resurrection. Oh. And. And soon enough. Yeah. He, she won't. And the, the who is resurrecting? It's Abyssinia. Abyssinia. Or something close to that. I hope. And she's. Skullduggery's ex-girlfriend. I mean, when she was Lord Violent going all crazy and murdering people. She was, for her, killing was like breathing. She was the queen of the Darklands. And she must be stopped at all costs. She's influencing minds of innocent, of, of killers, murderers, convicts, and villains. To make an anti-sanctuary, they are trying to make an all-time war between sorcerers and humans. I, I mean mortals. And uh, you know what that means, right guys? That means Skullduggery Pleasant has to go out there and stop her. Well, and they do. They also know that in Corval Academy, the Someone is influencing the, bo the boys and girls, the students there, to join the side of the anti-sanctuary. And so, they need someone to go undercover. Who would that be? Not Valkyrie Kane, could it be? Nope, definitely not. She's, like, too old, and she's way too good. And she is, well, Valkyrie. You can see her anywhere on YouTube. And so, they found someone who blend in and no one notices him. Omen Darkly, he is not cool, he's not dead, neither Skullduggery or Valkyrie, but he still would do a crucial job in the battle about to come. And then Smoke, a, a mage who has the power to corrupt, to mind control people, managed to touch Skullduggery, making him his, well, servant, basically. And he joins the anti-sanctuary. Skullduggery. I mean, he, it's not like the real Skullduggery, but he still does. I mean, that kind of sad. And, yeah. That's basically everything. And in the end, of course, Skullduggery and Valkyrie prevails. I'm not going to tell the details about that. It's a great book. Normal, classic Skullduggery, pleasant. I mean, let's be honest here. I love Derek Landy. I love the series, but it's kind of getting old. Like... The plot is like a cycle, it goes again and again, only the characters' names and plot changes a bit, but the basic outline is almost always the same, which is getting a bit boring. But still, as I told you, it's a great book. And like always, a book quester, and the book quester.